Hi guys, let's solve this excellence question. It is from 2015 and it's a differentiation question. A uh, corridor is 2 meter wide. At the end, it turns 90 degrees into another corridor. So here it's 90 degrees. What is the minimum width W of the second corridor if the ladder of length 5 meter can be carried horizontally around the corner? all right so here we need to find the value of w we are given a the angles and we have given that the ladder is five meter long all right so if so here we have two triangles triangle one and triangle two if this length be x the remaining length is going to be five minus x right so in this, now, let's use uh, Sokatoa to find the, find something. Let's see what we find. So we have in the first triangle, in the first triangle here, we can say cos A is equal to adjacent, which is 2 meters, over the hypotenuse, which is X, right? In the second triangle here, we have sine because this is sine a opposite is w and hypotenuse is 5 minus x all right now with the help of this we can change the entire something all right so here we have to find w so let's find an equation for w first so we will have 5 minus x sine a is equals to w and I can write that this side right so w is equals to 5 minus x sine a from the first equation we can find x is equals to 2 over cos a all right now this here if we substitute the value of x here we will have w is equals to 5 minus 2 over cos a sine a Right now, this is giving us an equation in terms of W and equation in terms of A. So our two variables is W and the angle A, right? We cannot change it to X because that will give us cos inverse something and we don't want, uh, yeah, so we don't want to go into that yet. So we can't substitute A, we have to substitute X. All right, so W is equals to, let's expand the bracket. We will have 5 sine A minus 2 sine A over cos A. W is equals to 5 minus sine, 5 times sine A minus sine over cos is 10. So we have 2 tan A. All right, now we can differentiate this. So what we have to find is we have to find the minimum width of that. So minimum and maximum. That means we have to differentiate, put it equals to zero and find the value of W or find the value of another variable and then find W in some ways. So we have to differentiate DW over the other variable is A. So with respect to A will give us 5 cos A. So when we differentiate sine, we get cos minus 2. When we differentiate 10, we got sec square a, right? Now, because we are finding minimum, minimum length, or it's the turning point, however you want to say, dw over dA should be equals to 0. So we will put that equals to 0 and we will have 5 cos a minus 2 sec square a is equals to 0. That gave us 5 cos A is equals to 2 sec square A. All right. And here we know that sec, let's use another color because it's a note. Uh, sec A is equals to 1 over cos A. So we're going to substitute that. So we will have 5 cos A is equals to 2 over cos square A. Right. Now that will give us cos cube A is equals to 2 over 5. And that will give us cos A 
is equals to cube root of 2 over 5. All right, and then you can find A is equals to cos inverse of cube root of 2 over 5. All right, or you can find the decimal value here and then put that into the calculator and it will give you the value of A. All right, so put that into the calculator and tell me what the value is. So it is 42.5. So A is 42.5 degrees. Now we need to find the value of W. So let's go back and find the equation. So this is W, right? 5A. This is the easiest value that we can substitute A in. So let's substitute the value of A in there and find W. So W is equals to 5 sine 42.5 minus 2 tan 42.5 right again let your calculator calculator do the magic and give me the answer so the answer is 1.55 and i think the units are meters that they have given yep so 5.55 meters right i hope this makes sense have a good day.